I poured this in fall, and, well, my dead soil turned alive by spring. The secret garden formula you'll wish you knew sooner. They say spring gardens are made in fall, and honestly, it couldn't be truer. Every year around October, I pour something special into my garden beds, walk away, and by the time spring rolls around, my soil looks brand new. Dark, soft, full of life. Plants grow faster, roots dive deeper, and watering becomes almost effortless. It's not fertilizer. It's not compost. It's what I call the living soil elixir. And once you try it, you'll never skip a fall season again. This simple natural brew wakes up the sleeping biology in your soil and transforms lifeless dirt into fertile, living earth by spring. Whether you grow vegetables, herbs, or flowers, this is the one step that quietly prepares your soil to explode with energy next season. Here's the thing most gardeners miss. Fall isn't the end of your growing season. It's the start of the next one. By late summer, your soil is exhausted. Months of feeding crops and battling weeds leave it compacted and nutrient-poor. Microbes slow down. Worms retreat. Left untouched, it stays that way through winter, meaning by spring, your soil is still cold, lifeless, and slow to wake up. But when you feed the soil now, before winter hits, you give it time to rest and rebuild. The microbes get to work quietly under the surface, breaking down organic matter and restoring nutrients. Come spring, what was once pale, dry ground becomes soft, dark, and full of that rich, earthy scent gardeners love. You're not feeding the plants, you're feeding the life beneath your feet. And that life is what feeds everything else. So what exactly do I pour in fall? It's not a store-bought mix or a synthetic fertilizer. It's a homemade living solution made from everyday ingredients that work together like a natural ecosystem. It's simple science. Yeast wakes up the microbes. Wood ash restores minerals. It brings in beneficial bacteria. Humate locks in nutrients, and iodine guards the balance. When all of these are combined, they form a powerful soil activator that recharges the underground life. This isn't a quick-fix booster. It's a biological reset button that brings your soil back to its natural vitality. Here's the exact recipe for one batch that covers about two to three square meters of soil. All right, so to get started, you'll want to use about 10 liters of warm water, somewhere between 30 and 35 degrees Celsius. Now, it's important that the water is dechlorinated. Just let your tap water sit out for a full day, about 24 hours so the chlorine has time to evaporate. Chlorine, you see, will kill off the very microbes we're trying to encourage. Into your warm water, go ahead and dissolve 100 grams of fresh baker's yeast. Or, if you're using dry yeast, about 10 grams will do. Then, toss in two or three tablespoons of sugar. That'll feed the yeast and really get that fermentation going. Give the mixture a good stir, and then let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. You'll notice foam starting to form on top. That's your sign the yeast is alive and ready for the next step. Now, the next thing you'll do is add one cup of clean wood ash. Make sure it's from untreated wood, leaves, or branches. 
This helps balance out the acidity that yeast can create, and it also puts back good minerals like potassium, calcium, and phosphorus into your mix. It also helps loosen compacted soil and discourages certain pests from overwintering. Now pour in one litre of natural, unsweetened milk whey. This is the golden ingredient. Whey is full of lactic acid bacteria that restore the soil's microbiome, helping beneficial microbes thrive while suppressing disease-causing ones. It's like giving your soil a probiotic shot. Now, to make sure all that goodness sticks around through the winter, just add about one teaspoon of liquid humate. It's a simple step, but it really helps, trust me. What this does is it boosts your soil structure, improves moisture retention, and, well, it makes nutrients a whole lot easier for microbes and plants to absorb later on. Finally, go ahead and add five to seven drops of regular iodine. It acts as a gentle antiseptic, eliminating harmful fungi and bacteria without disturbing the beneficial ones. Pretty handy, right? Mix everything thoroughly and let it sit in a warm spot for two to three hours. During that time, the solution will develop a mild fermented scent. That's exactly what you want. It means the microbes are active and ready to get to work. Before pouring, lightly moisten your soil. Dry soil won't absorb the solution properly, and you want it to sink deep into the ground where microbes and roots will meet. Then evenly pour the elixir across your garden beds using a watering can or sprayer. If you're practicing no-dig gardening, simply cover the treated soil with a layer of organic mulch. Fallen leaves, straw or grass clippings work perfectly. That cover traps warmth and moisture, helping microbial life continue working even through the colder months. For gardeners who prefer to turn their beds, dig lightly after application. It helps distribute the mixture through deeper soil layers and creates an ideal environment for microbial expansion. Here's where the real magic happens. As soon as the elixir hits the soil, the yeast starts feeding on sugars, releasing carbon dioxide and mild heat. That heat helps keep the soil biologically active longer into the season. So the bacteria from the whey, they start to populate the soil forming these colonies that, well, suppress harmful pathogens. Meanwhile, the minerals from the ash and the humart, they create a nutrient web that, you know, microbes and earthworms just thrive in. The iodine, it quietly sanitizes without harming the living ecosystem. Altogether, this becomes an underground composting system that honestly transforms your soil from the inside out. By midwinter, worms return, tunneling through the soil and, you know, really improving aeration. Their castings enrich the top layer with natural fertilizer. When spring finally arrives, you'll find soil that's soft, moist, and alive. It smells different. It feels different. It holds moisture longer, drains better, and roots can penetrate effortlessly. 
So the best time to do this is right after your harvest, usually in October, when daytime temperatures are still above 5 degrees Celsius. That's when microbial activity is still strong enough to make a difference. If your soil is especially poor, you can do a second light treatment later in the month, but once a year is usually more than enough. And uh, make sure to avoid mixing this solution with fresh manure. The ammonia released during manure fermentation can destroy beneficial microbes. Always use clean materials, warm water and organic ash. You know, this single fall step can actually save you weeks of soil prep and fertilizer work come springtime. You'll start to notice that seedlings germinate faster roots, tend to spread wider, and your plants stay greener for a much longer stretch, even when you're watering less. This formula doesn't rely on chemicals or any synthetic boosters at all. It works with the biology of your soil, not against it. By feeding the microbes instead of just the plants, you're really creating a self-sustaining ecosystem that just keeps nourishing itself over and over. Over time, your soil becomes more fertile, a whole lot less dependent on fertilizers and, well, naturally resistant to disease. You know, it's really just a simple shift in thinking. Stop forcing growth from the top and start nurturing life from below. Because when the soil thrives, well, everything above it just flourishes. Here at Timeless Crops Haven, we truly believe that healthy soil is the foundation of every successful garden. This fall elixir isn't just a quick fix. It's a, a long-term investment in your soil's future. Just pour it once, cover with mulch, and let nature do the rest. By spring, your garden will reward you with vibrant growth, stronger plants, and a thriving ecosystem that keeps on giving year after year. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven and share this with fellow gardeners who love seeing life come back to their soil. And remember, when you feed the soil, the soil feeds everything.